Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to bring you the Vision 2 video. What up yesterday is this week's City Game Synopsis. To be honest, this week the City Game wasn't really that big or that long, I should say. But I still wanted to make a video because there was one point talked about that's really important and it's kind of upsetting to some people but kind of pleasing the other half. So I want to talk about this, give you guys my opinions, and just talk about this kind of City Game this week. So if you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for my videos, and let's get right into this. Alright, so the first thing that was talked about was actually the Grand Washington uh, mission. This mission is actually the mission you get your blueprint for the Nemesis. And I know that this is something a lot of people were kind of anticipating or trying to get. And now it's actually invaded, so you can actually get on, get the blueprint for your weapon. And this thing is actually resetting tomorrow. For some reason, it actually reset during the um, the update. So... This is kind of your chance to get the blueprint. If you're not, uh, you will have to wait another kind of week or maybe two to actually get the Nemesis blueprint, which obviously is going to suck. You have about 20 hours or so uh, before it resets again on Thursday. So um, if you are missing the blueprint for this weapon, definitely get on and finish this mission. Now, the next thing that was talked about was actually no raid matchmaking. And yes, you guys heard that correctly. This is actually the information we got yesterday from... A couple posts on reddit but i wasn't really sure if it's confirmed or not so i didn't really want to make a video on this but today on the steady game they did confirm that there will be no raid matchmaking which kind of sucks in my opinion I, I do understand the kind of split like in the middle why people are upset but also some people are happy about this so first of all let me just say i think this is a bad move i think there's more people who are kind of relying on matchmaking to complete their missions and not everyone has pretty much like eight people sitting in a discord server or a skype call and waiting to do the raid obviously there's a lot of people that have you know jobs or, or they you know do irl stuff and not everyone's gonna have eight people to get on and complete the raid at the same time so i think matchmaking turning off matchmaking is a pretty bad move that's gonna leave a lot of people with not not a filled group with like five people or six people i'm sure you could still probably do this with like a six man or five man or even a four man maybe um but overall i, I think matchmaking is something a lot of people rely on and kind of want in the game uh, you know to to kind of help them out and stuff but i also do understand why some people are happy about this and saying matchmaking shouldn't be a thing for the raid because obviously it is a strategic kind of scenario I, I guess you could say it's not like the incursions it's not like the heroic missions anything like this this is something that you have to kind of communicate work together uh kind of call out be be kind of prepared and and just work as a team so i do understand how they're saying that matchmaking a lot of people don't really communicate a lot of people don't really join your parties and stuff like that so it could be really annoying it could be uh, kind of frustrating with just random people on your team whenever you're trying to work as a squad but I don't know, let me know your opinions about this. I, I personally feel like raid, raid matchmaking should be a thing and you should have the option to, you know, either do this with five people or you could cl click a button, get some randoms in your session and hopefully they help you out and, you know, they're not too bad. So let me know how you feel about this. Also, if you are looking for a team, let me know in the comments, leave your PSN, your gamer tag, uh, just any information down below in the comments, I'm sure. A lot of people will hit you up because obviously, again, not everyone has a set squad. Not everyone has eight people uh, for the raid. So if you're on PC, Xbox, PSN, let me know in the comments and let's try to, you know, get some parties going for, for this raid. The last thing that was mentioned that's worth talking about, in my opinion, are actually Twitch drops. So Twitch drops are happening when the raid is going on. The other division game will be streaming on Twitch. And if you have your Ubisoft account linked with your Twitch account, you'll be actually able to get Opero cash keys for the game. Um, as you guys know, the new Opero event is coming out May 16th. And if you just want to kind of watch the stream um, of the Division game again on Twitch, you will earn cash keys, I think, like every 90 minutes or uh, 30 minutes, something like that. Um, but again, if, as long as you watch the stream, you will get cash keys uh, for your account. So pretty cool. If you don't have time, maybe playing the game. If you are uh, kind of, you know, outside your home, whatever, you could turn on the stream and get keys that way. Anyways, that is going to be it for the video. Pretty quick one uh, today. Obviously, not really too much talked about um, in regards of the game. They just pretty much kind of did a synopsis of uh, the update and the raid happening tomorrow. So, not the longest live stream, not the most information, but overall, 
the no matchmaking thing was probably the biggest deal talked about today. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments as well. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.